What's up, Brian Tong here with the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus review. And if you're a fan of the Galaxy Buds, you're gonna love all the upgrades that they have packed into the Pluses. And I'm also gonna compare them with the AirPods because everyone asks about them. So later on, you can get an idea of just how they match up. But let's just start off with where the Galaxy Buds Plus shine. And that would be really in pretty much every area compared to the original Buds. Now Samsung's, they did great stuff here. They made improvements at every level and cosmetically, they look exactly the same. I mean, if you're getting the same color that you did before, they literally have the same exact measurements. Other than that, they weigh, what, a half a gram heavier roughly per earbud. That, but that's thanks to all the new tech that they packed inside. And that's a good thing because I've just always preferred their clean, minimalist design, at least just how they look. Now, sound quality-wise, the Buds Plus bring a new two-way dynamic speaker with a dedicated woofer and tweeter in each bud. The original only had one speaker per bud, and it does make a difference with a more rounded out sound. They aren't, though, uh, the best sounding wireless earbuds I've heard, and sound quality, we know that it's always subjective depending on your ears, but they bring better bass compared to the first buds. Unfortunately, I would say that I don't feel like the mids made that huge of a leap for me, but the Buds Plus sound quality, really solid. They won't wow you compared to earbuds in the entire wireless space, but they absolutely sound better compared to the originals. Now there are also three microphones on the new Buds Plus with two on the outside and then one on the inside. The original Buds only had two total. So you can see, if you look here, there's one here on the exterior, one on the other. And that's in case you're a Buds baller and you get them mixed up with each other. Now you know which one's which and knowing is half the battle. Also, the addition of the microphone has definitely helped um, bring better audio quality for people on the other side of my calls. I mean, I'm selfish, do I really care? No, but again, it's not that massive of a shift, but it's a welcome improvement that makes these a whole lot better. The biggest improvement with the Buds Plus is battery life. Now these two here, they bring in 11 hour battery life, but then you bring in this case and that's an additional 11 hours using this wireless charging case for a total of 22 hours. The original Buds, they had six hours of listening time, then seven if you add the case. So this is just a huge, huge jump. But the way that I tested to see kind of, you know, is this up to snuff is, you know, I had a Galaxy Z Flip phone. Oh. What a coincidence, right? This one right here. I had this playing over Spotify on my Z Flip to these earbuds. I turned off the ambient sound and it made it through 11 hours plus time. They will still connect over Bluetooth 5, but you can now pair the Buds Plus to multiple devices at once. But let's really get into the features on these Buds Plus. And this is kind of like where things really get interesting, what they packed in here, because you're really gonna be able to take advantage of this stuff while you're using the Galaxy wearable app. And you'll obviously need to have your Buds Plus connected, but what you do here is, I'm gonna launch the app real quick first. And when you jump into it, you'll have your earbuds connected. So I'm just gonna pop these in here for a second while we kind of talk you through this process. And what's cool here is that you, first of all, on this app, you'll see the layout. And so what you'll see right out of the gates is a variety of different options. The first one is ambient sound. And so what I can do is I can turn it on or off. And then this allows me to hear the outside sound and the environments around me and choose like a different level. This is like if you're walking around and you wanna go from you know low level sound to medium or high, you can do that. Then the other feature here is you have an equalizer that kind of changes the qualities of what you're listening to. So you could go from normal, bass boost. It, it kind of sounds more muddy when you get there, but you gradually rotate the equalizer around up to treble boost. It gets really tinny, right? Big highs but you can kind of change. I kind of like to keep it, quite honestly, at normal. I feel like it's the best balance for how I hear. Then you look down here, there's some other options, but I go into the touchpad option. And this allows you to set up how you interact with the earbuds. So you can do the normal stuff, play or pause by single tapping, double tapping to go to the next track, triple taps, previous track. But if you look down here, you can choose left and right. And what this allows you to do is if you do a long press on this touchpad, you can prompt things like a voice command using the assistant. You can choose between Bixby or the Google Assistant. You can do volume down, or you can have it prompt for Spotify. So I've set it up for a voice command on one side. I set it up for Spotify on the other. And then I think the coolest part about here is you've got the labs. And this is kind of like experimental features 
with the earbuds. Um, but what I love the most here, there's an option here that you can turn on to double tap the earbud edge. So we're not talking about the actual touch part, we're talking about just kind of like on the edge here. And if I double tap it, I can increase the volume. No earbuds with touch controls that I know has all the controls, track, fast forward, play, and then have now been incorporating this, this uh, volume control all at once. This is really cool. But again, this is in like kind of like the labs, the experimental features, but it works. You have the extra high ambient volume option if you want. I didn't turn that on. But then also one of the criticisms of the first buds was gaming mode. This allows it to minimize audio delay for vivid synchronized gaming sound when you're gaming on your Galaxy device. So this is another option in the labs. I think that's kind of one of the most exciting things that you can play around with these features in this app. So they've really packed in just more features and the lab section, like I talked about in this app, is really the most interesting part of it with experimental features that are in the works, available to try, but not official. So still kind of like unofficial. The new Galaxy Buds Plus, they're $149 online and they will be available in stores on March the 6th. I know you're also wondering like, how do these match up with other wireless earbuds? The big comparisons that people wanna know is always Apple's AirPods and in this case, ecosystem will always matter, but you can use AirPods on a Samsung device, you can use Samsung Buds, Buds Plus on an Apple device, but you won't necessarily get all the benefits of their ecosystem. So matching these up really briefly with the AirPods Pro, the price to me already puts them in different tiers. The AirPods Pro at $249 and they bring active noise canceling and just a superior sound compared to the Buds Plus. So let's kind of put those off the side and shift our attention to the regular AirPods. Now, again, I love the Buds Plus ability to not only keep all their touch controls, but they add that volume control tap on top of that with in the lab section. Apple hasn't been able to pack that many touch controls at once in any of their earbuds ever. But if we're looking at the current AirPods, with their wireless charging case, that's $199. You think about a quick comparison, the Galaxy Buds Plus with their case, $149. But the current AirPods bring five hours of battery life and then an extra 19 plus with their case for a total of 24 hours. The Buds Plus, 11 and 11 for 22 hours total. So advantage, gotta give that to Apple. Now sound quality wise, the Buds Plus, they do a much better job, right? You kind of pop them in and twist them they do a much better job of sealing off the sound with the rubberized tips. You got different sizes for those as well, even um, different ear hooks to kind of fit your ear better. The AirPods, the current AirPods, it's really just one size fits all. They do have a better overall sound though. I felt that the mids were clearer, the highs were clearer, and even the bass was better defined. While the Buds Plus, they don't sound as sharp. But then if you think about this, if you're in a noisy environment, the Buds Plus will likely sound better because they can just seal off that sound. And then they also have that equalizer option plus the Buds Plus have that ambient sound feature to adjust that to your desire. So advantage Samsung there. Now cosmetically, gotta go Buds Plus. They look significantly better, significantly, and then they're also cheaper in price. But no matter what, you can go back and forth between the two. The biggest deciding factor between these two is ecosystem. And that's why your final decision will likely come down to ecosystem. So the Galaxy Buds Plus, they're a great improvement overall. I really love the volume control double tap on the edge at something new, plus how they amped up everything else. And really the next step for Samsung is to bring maybe some sort of noise canceling for their next model, even if that means they get a little bigger. But the Galaxy Buds Plus surprised me with what they packed into their second gen and they're a worthy upgrade for people in the ecosystem at a price that's more than reasonable.